Hey guys, have you ever had issues with your plant and its leaves curling and always wondered why its leaves are curling or what am I doing wrong? Well stick around because today I'm going to explain why that happens and how to fix it. So if you ever notice that your plant's leaves are curling, and when I say curling I don't mean curling up ways, I mean long ways like this. What that means is your plant has been exposed to an extreme in conditions and those extremes are pretty much interfering with the plant's internal cooling system. So before I talk about the different things that actually prompt the leaves to curl, I'm first going to explain what the plant's internal cooling system is and how that works so you guys can understand what I'm talking about pretty much. So I'm going to use my Alocasia zebrina for this example. Pretty much the way a plant's internal cooling system works is Plants absorb water through their roots, they pass it up the stems to the leaves. And now the leaves are covered in all these little holes which the plants can open and close at will. They're called stomatas and what happens is water goes up the stem, passes through the leaf, evaporates out of the stomatas into the air. And it's a constant cycle, so basically water is coming up and evaporating, more water comes up the stem and evaporates. It's, the con it's a constant flow and this is how the plant regulates its temperature especially in hot weather. But what happens when there's external conditions that interfere with this cycle? Usually what will happen? The leaf will curl. This can be either the plant is in conditions that are much too hot or much too dry. So a low humidity. or it could also be the plant has an issue with its roots, whether that be root rot or over fertilizing or over watering. Why? Because basically it all starts at the roots. The roots suck up the water, transfer it up the stem and evaporate it through the stomatas out of the leaves. If you disable the roots, then this whole system doesn't work. So, problem number one, over watering or over fertilizing. So problem number one that could cause curling of leaves is a problem within the pot, either overwatering, over fertilizing, or using the incorrect soil mix. Basically, overwatering can risk in problems like root rot, which in turn disables the roots from functioning properly. So the, the plant basically has to provide water to its leaves, and if you've got a plant with a lot of leaves that need a constant supply of water, and you've disabled the root system, it's not going to be able to bring enough water up to those leaves. Therefore, curling of the leaves happen. Same thing with over fertilizing. Fertilizer has sodium in it. Too much sodium, again, can stop the plant's ability from drinking water. Thirdly, if you've got the wrong soil mix, it's not well draining. If you've got a soil mix that is so compact and dense, and when you water, it's basically just mud. You have an imbalance between water and oxygen. There's not enough oxygen in the soil. It's just all water. You suffocate the roots, and therefore they don't function either. So that's area number one of what could be causing your leaves to curl. Area number two of leaves curling, humidity. A lot of these plants you're keeping indoors are tropical plants, so they come from areas where they always have a high humidity. And that's what they're used to and that's what they need. Problem being, especially when it gets into say winter time in our homes, the humidity can get very, very low. Humidity is something that affects some plants more than others depending on what type, so it doesn't apply for every type of house plant. Calatheas, for example, are very prone to humidity issues when the humidity gets too low. My Calathea zebrina here in particular always curls its leaves when the humidity gets low. So during winter time, this Calathea always has at least half of its leaves slightly curled. Not fully, but just like halfway. And yeah, that's basically a Calathea thing kind of, but there are other health plants. There are other house plants that exhibit similar problems due to lack of humidity. How does humidity affect the whole cycle of the plant passing water through its system and evaporating it through the leaves? Low humidity means the water that is coming out of the leaves via evaporation is going to happen much faster. In low humidity conditions, water evaporates from the leaves a lot faster than in high humidity conditions. So basically the plant is losing more water more quickly. And if it's losing water out of its leaves, quicker than it can absorb water up through its roots, then you result in curling leaves. And lastly, problem number three, temperature. Like humidity, 
It's all about how quickly the water is evaporating from the leaves and external sources that cause that water to evaporate faster than the plant can take water in through its roots cause leaf curling. So if you've got your plant exposed to high temperatures, this is usually a problem during summer, especially if you've got direct sunlight on your plant and it's a plant that doesn't really like direct sunlight or even just generally, uh, depending on I suppose whereabouts you live in the world will determine this. Uh, if you live in a more tropical climate, probably not as much of an issue, but um, yeah, I personally do get quite dry summers where I live. So the heat, so the temperature is quite high, but it's not a high humidity, it's a dry heat. So this is another problem that some of my house plants do face during summer. Basically more water is evaporating than they're taking in. And because the temperature is quite high and dry, the soil's drying out in the pot a lot quicker as well. So you kind of have to be more on top of the watering as well. So now you know what causes leaves to curl, but uh, what's the purpose of the leaf curling in this first place? How does it benefit the plant? So what the plant's trying to do is basically retain as much moisture as possible by curling the leaves. And that is because, like I was saying, the leaves are covered in all these little holes called stomatas, which the plant can open and close at will to uh, regulate how much water evaporates out of the leaf. Um, for example, if the plant's under high temperatures and the temperatures are forcing water to evaporate, whether the plant wants it or not, it has to force those stomatas closed. And that's a big strain on the plant to do that, which causes the leaf to actually curl, forcing the stomatas closed. It also creates a little microclimate inside the curled cavity that the leaf has created. That little microclimate will have a high humidity, uh, just making life a bit more comfortable for that individual leaf also. So what can we do to help our plant uncurl its leaves and be comfortable again during high temperatures or low humidity or any of the other issues? that they may face that cause this to happen. Well, like I said, it's all about how much water the plant's taking in versus how much water is evaporating from the leaf. And if more is evaporating from the leaf than the water that it's taking in, you need to make some adjustments on that. So, provided your plant's root system is perfectly healthy and functioning fully, meaning you have the correct soil mix for your plant and there's no root rot issues, it's got a very strong, well-functioning root system that can take in water properly, then simply you just need to maybe water your plant a little bit more and if you can, if it's experiencing high temperatures, move it somewhere cooler. So I would actually advise investing in a moisture probe. These make it very very simple to determine whether your plant does or doesn't need watering. You simply just stick the probe in the soil and the little meter tells you how much moisture is in the soil. And if you're finding that whatever schedule you got your plant on isn't enough as far as this thing tells you, you might have to just water a bit more frequently. This is actually the case with my Calathea zebrina that I was holding just before. It is kind of prone to curling its leaves during um, low humidity where again there's more evaporation going through the leaves so I have to water it a bit more frequently and then the leaves uncurl and it's all good again. So whether it be low humidity or high temperatures, either of those two will cause excess will cause extra water to evaporate much quicker. Just up the watering on the plant, maybe move it somewhere else, somewhere with a higher humidity or somewhere with lower temperatures if it's high temperatures that are causing the problem. Also regarding the humidity, if you want to, you could also invest in a humidifier during winter time to place next to your plant. That also makes a bit of a difference on the leaves curling as well. But let's say for example, it's not a temperature issue or a humidity issue like it's in the middle of spring so it's not too hot and there's high humidity and your soil is always got and your soil's always at least slightly moist and you've got it on a pretty good watering schedule but you're finding that your leaves are still curling even though theoretically everything seems perfect then you might want to look at the roots you may have root rot and or you may have the incorrect soil mix for your plant for your plant if it's root rot you want to obviously take the plant out of the pot inspect the roots the roots should not, the roots should pretty much be white. If the roots are very, very dark brown or black and they feel very soft and mushy and they have a bit of a kind of rotting smell to them, that's root rot. You want to snip all those dying and dead roots off the plant, replant it in new, well draining soil, and then you just got to hope that the plant recovers and regrows its roots. Taking all those things aside, the only other thing I'll throw into this before I end the video 
is not to give your plant an extreme change in conditions too quickly because this can also cause these problems. If you move it from indoors to outdoors and it's gone from being in say 22 degrees Celsius sort of conditions living inside your home and suddenly you put it outside and it happens to be say the middle of summer where it's like 30 to 40 degree days, then yeah, you're going to curl your leaves and potentially lose your plant in the process because it'll be an extreme change. So any extreme change for this plant, for your plant uh, will also cause leaves to curl. So just move them slowly and if you're going to move them from indoors to outdoors, do it in the autumn or at least in the spring when temperatures aren't as extreme. So it's not as big of a jump for your plant to adjust to. So I hope now you guys have a better understanding of what causes your plant's leaves to curl and how you can fix them. Before I go guys, don't forget, if you've liked this video, leave us a like. Instagram's down below if you want to follow me as well. Don't forget to bing that notification bell so you guys know when I upload new videos. Until then, I'll see you all in my next video. Bye bye.